After watching this video, you will know how the annotation dimension settings component works and in which ways it doesn't. You can find it in the Rhino tabs annotation section. To demonstrate this component, I will be using the same script as in the last video. If you want to know how all of this works, you should go watch it. I will put a link to it in the end screen. But for now, our focus will be here. Here is the Align Dimension component that automatically creates all the dimension lines around our object. To change the dimension settings, we connect the Annotation Dimension Settings component to it. The component has quite a few inputs, so let's see what they do. First we have the View Oriented Boolean input. If we change this to true, all of our dimension annotations will be facing directly towards the viewer. This might be useful if you are displaying the dimensions in the 3D space, but it is the industry standard to have them aligned to the dimension lines, so it is easier to see which number represents which dimension line. Then we have the text location input. You have three options. Zero is to have the text above the dimension line, one is to have the dimension centered, and two should move the dimension below. For some reason it doesn't seem to work properly, at least with the Aligned Dimension component. Then we have the Text Rotation input. You also have three options here. I recommend using 0 or 1. Having this set to 1 aligns it with the dimension line. In this case the 0 option also would result the same, because the dimension plane is aligned with the dimension line. Then we have the same settings but for radial dimensions. So I'm not gonna go through this again. Now what you need to know about the dimension lines is that this is the dimension line and this is the extension line. So when we change the dimension line extension it means that we are changing this extension here. And when we are changing the extension line extension we are changing this part here. The extension line offset changes the distance between the dimensioned point and the extension line. We can also toggle the next input to have the extensions have a fixed length. We can then set the length with the next input. Here you can see that the extension can extend beyond our target point. We can explain the difference between the extension line offset and the extension length by changing the offset in the Aligned Dimension component. So now that I have the extension fixed and I increase the offset, we can see that the extension length stays the same. But if we use the extension line offset and change the offset of the dimension, we can see that the extension line length changes, but the offset to the target object doesn't. If we don't want to have extensions, we can suppress these with the next two inputs. I think that the baseline spacing is supposed to move the text away from the baseline, but for some reason, at least with the aligned dimension, it doesn't work. I also couldn't get it to work with the linear dimension. The next two inputs are for changing the center mark size and type. We have covered these in our center mark video, so I will put a link to it in the end screen. Our last input is the decimal separator. For some reason, no matter what input style I tried, I couldn't get this to work. If you want to change your decimal separator, you can navigate to your Rhino options and to the annotation style that you are using and change the decimal separator here between a comma and a period. Now our decimal separator has updated. That is all for now, thank you for watching, and if you learned something, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.